Previously What's happening, folks? On and this is the Hunting segment with called Tripler. Sitting Down with a Reseller. His name is Tim. His channel is Over the Years, and Tim loves vintage items. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always like bouncing around. So like if you watch my channel, you'll notice too that like I put a lot of other people in my videos that are like super important to me. I've been full time since February 1st of 2020 was my first day full time. Yeah. What is happening folks? Tripler here. Garage sales opened up. I went to my first estate sale and the local Goodwill opened its doors for the first time. That's in today's episode. You don't want to miss it. I collect so many things. Would you like to share this journey with me? I will show you the prizes I got today. So folks, in today's episode, garage sales finally opened and we went for the first time. And though there weren't a lot that were out there, we did at least go, we saw a few things, I bought a few items, a bunch of random stuff, but it was nice to just see that you could go out, be safe, and find a few good treasures along the way. I also went to an estate sale and found just some categories of resale that I never, ever sell it. And I thought I'd take a chance. I also went to the local Goodwill that finally opened its doors after about three and a half months. And they had a whole bunch of stuff left over from before the pandemic even hit. And I took advantage of that. So if you like the content, you're enjoying yourself, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and please enjoy today's journey. All right, we made it. We made it to the place. Let's see what we're dealing with. It was definitely not the right house. This is the right house, so we're gonna check it out. Hey, how are we doing? We're in there. Right? Yeah. Nick, how you? I gotta look to the mask. How's it going? Your a. Thank you. It's tried good. Trying to make it somewhat Thank different. You for coming with the How's it going? Just take your time, look around, do your your distancing. Let me just. We'll talk about it. Sure. Hello, my friend. Look.
these are the right price. I'm gonna pick these up. Dale cable car. So it's that. This is the actual wallpaper. I got some really unique items. I mean, incredibly unique. So I will recap this sometime later today. Some really cool stuff. I paid a total of $75. The estate sale pickups were so random and a lot of what you'll see here, I don't typically pick up. So this was kind of an attempt to try something different. Look at, uh, look at the inventory as an opportunity to buy cheap items and see if these categories sell for me. In particular, these handmade, I think they're basically tablecloths. Um, they just looked so unique and, and done so well that I couldn't help but give it a shot. Uh, for this entire lot that you see here, I spent a total of $70. So right out of the gate, the Sony Handycam is going to give me all of that back and then some. Um, in fact, I just sold this exact model this week for $159. I have a case that I can include with it. It's got a good charger. So I've tried this, that works. It's got the actual remote, which is fantastic. So that right there, I know I'll get uh, with shipping on top, a total of probably $175. So that pays for everything. Those Converse, which are huge, looked old, vintage, made in the USA. I know that there's some uh, decent market for those, so I'm just gonna give that a shot. Again, the hand towels. This was a reprint of an old um, 1908 Sears catalog. So, and then a, a 19, 1908 Sears Roebuck catalog. Interesting enough, I know very little about, but it was kind of a throw in. This looked awesome, it was just sitting there. So I thought, couldn't help myself but wanting to grab that. You have a couple of Audio-Technica microphones, usually maybe 15, 20 bucks for those a piece. Um, I got this Apple charger, which usually 15, 20 bucks, depending upon the model. And this is old vintage wallpaper from 1971. It's rolls of trains. So it's a set of trains kind of all lumped into, looks like it's two rolls of wallpaper. So all of this looked interesting. I'll try my best to guess at what I'm gonna make on some of this. I'll put some eBay comps up on the screen for you to take a look at, but for the most part, this is really a test, and since I knew I was going to get my money back on the Handycam, I, I felt confident in giving the rest of this a shot. All right, guys, we're at the warehouse. I've got someone who's going to take a look at a whole bunch of extra inventory I have and see if we can strike a deal. So let's see if I can record some of this. Um, uh, how about the only PlayStation 3? Yeah, those are PlayStation 3s, and they're, I mean, they're in, they're, they all turn on. The problem is, is that it's either dis... That's not true. One of them does not turn on. Um, and the disk drive, I think all of the hard drives are in every single one of them. So um, I've got that, I've got these. Um, I don't think you're interested in TVs. I've got a couple of iMacs. Um, so I've got, <laughs> I've got lots of stuff. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the Bose stuff too. Okay, how about 800 Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, you're killing me. I will come back to my motive thing for you. Today 800. I... Um, hold on, hold on. If you do that, give me one pair. Give me, just give me one pair. Okay. Uh, let me figure out which one. So I, I keep this mm -hmm. and you keep that. Okay, 800. And that's 800? Okay, yeah. All right, I'll help you. Set and all those stuff. All of this. Yeah. And all of this. 800. For 800. <laughs> all right, all right, fair man. That's a good deal. I like pay. I like PayPal more. Wow, dude, look at you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> Tom's gonna buy 
<laughs> all of these. Yeah. Tom's killing it today. <laughs> all right, man, you got him. That deal with Tom went really, really well. He was super cool and I had been sitting on that inventory for over a year probably like almost a year and a half so between 18 and 12 months somewhere in there they were both items that definitely had value and if i took the time to test everything buy all the pieces that were missing and just complete it there was four or five thousand dollars potentially there in profit and i definitely made money on the original purchase i probably spent about f between four and five hundred total on the Bose products and the Guitar Hero stuff, when I was buying it, I probably spent on all that Guitar Hero stuff, maybe $50 total. So my all-in price there, let's call it maybe $550, even $600. He bought it all for $800. So I was able to finally get rid of some unused inventory, took care of a massive headache <laughs> and, uh, and made a connection. Waiting to go in to the sweet goodwill. Wish me luck, everyone. But I think it's just the same stuff they had two months ago. In without masks. My mask is coming off. We have to take your temperature. If your temperature is over 100.4, I'm afraid I'm not allowed to let you in. Okay? We have uh, lines uh, of directions on where to go. We're wiping down everything. Everything, we're trying to keep everybody safe as well as ourselves. So I hope this is not gonna be a bad experience for you guys. Goodwill blasts music so loud that it's impossible to actually have any audio playing inside of the store. But I came in and I always go straight for the media and the electronics and they've kind of moved things around a little bit, but I literally went right for this game. I mean, Mario Kart was sitting right there. Now this store actually prices the games all flat price of $5.95, so it's hard to make some other games work, but that was an easy one to grab. I then went over to the sports section and they were probably sitting on these items well before the pandemic hit, but I basically grabbed all the weights they had and I just started loading them up. I, I think I grabbed two or three different sets here and they were all well worth the five to ten dollars I paid for them. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Fifteen. Oh, that's right. So, forty-five, and these are five a piece, so fifty for everything. It would be fifty-five. Started with the Star Trek alarm clock from 1994, and then I picked up this vintage Girl Scout dress, which is in pretty good condition, and then this Boy Scouts of America with original hat. Pretty sweet. So, that's what I got. Not much else. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, okay. Next full of goodies is gonna have to be shown later. But looks like some cool stuff. Paid 20 bucks for everything. This grab bag was a lot more expansive than it appeared. I had a whole bunch of Star Wars action figures, got a lot of watchers on it. There were some tech decks in there, got a lot of views, not a lot of watchers. A bunch of accessories that I've got one watcher on, a bunch of views. You guys remember constructs from the 80s? Well, I have the purple alien for $7.45. A bunch of squinkies, never heard of them, but I've got about 10 bucks for those. 
And then I've got a 2005 G.I. Joe Duke. And last but certainly not least, the Marvel Legends lot. And I have 50 bucks on that, two watchers, and a lot of views. The potential profit on this is about $130, and I actually think I'm probably going to sell everything. In this lot, I also had a Sony micro cassette recorder, and I sold that for $23. I also had a lot of Power Rangers action figures, and I sold that for $15. I've been to three total garage sales so far. Two of them were pretty trashy. Uh, the one that was halfway decent uh, where I got the Star Trek alarm clock and the Boy Scout and Girl Scout uniform. Eh, that was just average. <laughs> so, not doing so great, but hey, we're out and that's kind of nice. And I see yet another yard sale sign and that makes me so happy. So we're gonna check this one out. Let's do it. Okay guys, for 60 bucks, here was my haul. I got this thing because he tested it out, he plugged it in, showed me it worked, and then he threw in this base squeeze. Originally he said he wanted 50 bucks for this, but I ended up getting this, plus these computer parts and the laptops for 60 bucks total. So it was a great deal, but just before you get excited, you have to recognize how much work is here. So. If you're seeing this and you think, oh man, that's a great deal, keep in mind he was also a smoker, heavy, heavy smoker. So everything here reeks of smoke. And he had cameras and things like that that he had listed. He also mentioned he had sports cards. And I was driving there with the intention of buying a lot of, of items. And since I was there first, I got kind of the, the pick of the litter, but he hadn't pulled out the sports cards and he hadn't pulled out the cameras. And after I'd smelled the lot here, I, I immediately said, there's no way that a collector of cameras or a collector of sports cards would buy them if they have a smoke smell to them. So I basically said, I'm gonna pass on those. So this is working. The foot pedal he said was working. I didn't get that tested. And then a stack of laptops here. Looks like I've got about six of them here, five of them there, and another five or six here. So that right out of the gate is, you know, it's nice to see I have that many. And then a lot of really good hard drives. I mean, some of these are, you know, 320 gigs, 500 gigs. You know, you, you look across the spectrum of how many hard drives are here and you and I gotta get excited a little. And that was today's episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed yourself. It's kind of refreshing to be at a garage sale. It's kind of refreshing to be at an estate sale for local thrift stores to actually be open. It's kind of nice to be able to process new inventory. My death pile from what it used to be is down to about 10%. And I was kind of itching a little bit to get some new stuff. There are a whole lot of great episodes coming up. In fact, there's a hack that I have for getting really great video game inventory, and I don't even have to leave my house. I'm excited to reveal that to you. So stay tuned for upcoming episodes, and I hope you enjoyed today's journey. I know I did. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Take care. Next time on Hunting with Tripler. Sweet. Sweet vintage. No, it's a good